the mounds of earlier settlers, Cahokia Mounds State Historic Site. The remains of Cahokia, an ancient Native American settlement, are in Collinsville, Illinois, in the United States. It's believed that from the 9th to the 14th century, between 10 and 20,000 people lived in this settlement. About 120 mounds in various shapes and sizes were built on this site. The largest one is called Monk's Mound. This mound has two terraces, and the base area dimensions are larger than any of the known pyramids in Egypt. The mound is about 33 metres high. It has a flat top. The settlement leader's house was built on top of Monk's Mound and pillars were erected in front of it in a circle. The settlement's population peaked in the 12th century. Its total area expanded to 15 square kilometres. A stockade surrounded the mound and open area, separating the leaders on the inside from the ordinary people living outside. This Native American society was hierarchical and its civilization was advanced. Situated between the Mississippi and the Missouri rivers, the land was fertile. The people grew vegetables such as sweet corn, pumpkins and beans. This pot was used to store sweet corn. It was found on the site. Duck-shaped and beaver-shaped earthenware were among other items dug up here. The settlement enjoyed a thriving river trade. It too was very well organised and culturally sophisticated. This rectangular plaque is engraved with a birdman. The bird is believed to be a peregrine falcon, regarded as a messenger for the gods. On the other side is a pattern, like snake scales. Because snakes slither along the ground, they're considered as a symbol of the earth. The Cahokia settlement was suddenly abandoned during the 15th century. We don't know exactly why, but it could have been due to resources running out, or to disease, or to climate change. The settlement is long gone, but the mounds and the mystery of what happened to Cahokia remain. <laughs>